Bear Festival. I feel very Bear Festival. <laughs> that was a good night though, wasn't it? Proper what we needed, Babs. Hi guys, sorry it's been a while since we've done our last vlog. Um, we've been dealing with some family issues, so hopefully we'll be back to normal in the next couple of weeks. So thank you for bearing with us. So what are we doing? Uh, we've come to the centre of Chester because I'm going to paint a BT signal box. Hey. I'm not a quick worker. I am quite slow. It's possibly the understatement of the year. <laughs> Perfectionist. So and you're going to have to start something and, and finish, finish, it. finish it within a deadline. My work's one So you came and forgot to bring a tape measure? Yeah. I didn't even think about that. You're not really good at this street eyes thing, are you? I'm practicing. <laughs> Need to clean around here. I can smell weed. What does it feel like uh, painting a telephone box in the middle of Chester? Well, the thing I'm finding quite surprising is that we've just rocked up and just started painting and nobody said anything. Just, I was quite happy for us to carry on. <laughs> so, tell us what is Chester Bid? Chester Bid is a development program for businesses in Chester so I think they look after about 500 businesses in Chester and try and drive tourism into the area and help the businesses out. How did you get picked for this project? So our beautiful friend Sophia that we met in this video here um, she did the first round um, and was contacted by Chester Bid so I contacted them and asked them if I could do the next round if it ever came about and they contacted me, so I got a chance to do the second round. So is that, do you think, part of your Instagram helped you to get picked? Yeah, I think so. They could check out my work on my Instagram and see what kind of stuff I was churning out. So, yeah. So how did you go about designing this? Because um, it's quite a huge leap for you from lino cuts to BT boxes in city centres. Yeah. Well, I created a mood board, first of all. Um, the brief was summer in the city. So it was always going to have flowers in it because my work's got a lot of flowers in it and it's always going to be bright. Um, so they were the things that I wanted in there that were part of me. Um, and yeah, so there's a lot of influences, Grace and Perry, um, lots of different murals and stuff. Um, and then I took the patterns from the eaves in the Tudor buildings in Chester. Um, and then that kind of flowed from there then. So what's this then? Uh, just a test panel to see. So I've got my designs here. So Oof, that's bright. That's, that's not the design, that's just the flowers. It's a, a screen dump really. So if you got a mock-up of what you're hoping to do, wowzers. That's the mock-up, but so I've done a test panel now of these flowers. I think that one's very successful. I think that one, the leaves need to be pointed out and I haven't got a Posca pen in orange, but I would have done an orange centre and then a yellow outline. So I think that needs work. That one's good and I need to find another flower head, I think. So what's but, the black and white signify? So the black and white, so the brief is um, summer in the city. So Chester City. So Chester, I think, is quite synonymous with its black and white buildings. So this is to res represent the, is it the eaves of a building? So that pattern is that. And then, of course, 
I like flowers and you don't have a summer without flowers and bright colour. That's awesome. Yeah. So plan is to paint the top in kind of a black and white pattern and then the sides will be not as detailed as this but um, flowers up the side. So as we touched upon this is quite a quite a leap and I personally was very impressed with your bravery. How did you feel about painting in public for the first time? Initially I was really nervous about it actually. Um, yeah, because I don't like people watching me when I'm drawing or painting. Um, but it was brilliant. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, being in the public, chatting to public. Um, the first day I started it was Chester Race Day, so it was heaving. So people started, I was in between two pubs. Um, so people started drinking at like half ten. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was ace. Loads of banter, you know. I did get asked for directions quite a lot, I have to say, as well. So I do know Chester a bit better now as well, because I'm quite new to the area. Um, yeah, it was ace. Lovely little old ladies as well. Hey. What do you think of it so far? It's looking good. That's good. Help me do the spray stuff for the white, haven't you? I'm not quite... Oh, I'm not very good with the spray can. Got your uh, Battle Project t-shirts on. Yep. Where are they? Available on Teespring website. Available on Teespring website. Link in the description. Link in the description below. So in doing the project, what was the biggest challenge? Well, for me, um, it's always time management um, because I get so engrossed in the detail. Um, and during the project, we had quite a, I think we had less than a month to do it, probably three weeks. Um, in the middle of that, we'd got a week's holiday uh, where we went to the lakes and celebrated Luna's first birthday. Luna. Oh, is it your birthday today? Happy birthday, baby. Oh. <laughs> we go get your pie. You mm. have a pie for your birthday treat. Oh, oh who wants pie? <laughs> you want a pie? Yeah. Barking at the birdies. Oh. Um, so, yeah, it was always going to be time management. So, out of all of the artists, I think I probably spent the longest... <laughs> which shows, you know, experience again. Um, I probably wouldn't have put as much detail in there as I did this time, but, you know, it's all a learning curve um, and I really enjoyed it. Before we'd gone on holiday, we managed to get the box prepped, ready to begin painting. So. What was the painting process? How did that um, evolve? And what materials did you use? Well, with the help of my beautiful husband, Chris, um, he prepped the box really, because he sprayed it and I'm rubbish at spraying. Um, so we did a black coat of hammerite um, on just the plain black bits and then the rest was sprayed white, which surprisingly we left for a week and nobody scribbled all over it. I was expecting it to come back to well, I was expecting to come back to all sorts of stuff on it and it was left alone. So yeah, I used acrylic paint because um, it's cheap, but I've bought too much <laughs> experience again. So I can do a lot of murals now. Um, and then Posca pens, which were, I haven't got any here, but they were amazing and a lifesaver. I will definitely use them again. So perhaps to me, the most surprising thing was um, you finished on time. Yes, I did. So how did that happen with the fact that <laughs> well, you were both worried that that wouldn't happen? Um, what you put that down to? Spending a lot of time there. So every spare evening 
I was pretty much there. I had to book two days off work as well. So I had two solid days at it on top of, you know, weekends and other stuff. So I think I spent four solid days on it, didn't I? And then a few evenings. So yeah. Quite a long time. Probably about 30 odd hours, isn't it? About 40, I think. Wow. It doesn't go fully round, does it? So what's the biggest takeaway from doing this project? Or the biggest takeaways from doing this project? I liked working in the public eye. It was lovely. Um, I got a real buzz off it, actually. Um, yeah, I felt ace every day that I came back and I'd been chatting to people. Um, so I'm not as shy as I think I am. Um, yeah, I'd love to do something like that again. Um, and it was just really positive, really nice comments off people. I uh, got a couple of whingy people, but you always do, don't you? Um, so oh. they didn't deflect from from that. Um, if I did it again, I wouldn't put as much detail in it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't buy as much paint. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I will be making some cards in the theme of the BT box, so they'll be available shortly. Nice and bright and colourful. Um, our next vlog will be an update on our mooring. Uh, we've been quite busy um, and Chris has been very busy painting the boat. Um, so that'll be next. Very exciting. And hopefully all in time before we go off on the boat for a few weeks uh, discovering some new canals. So watch this space. Once again, sorry we've not made a vlog for a while and thank you for bearing with us. Um, I hope to see you next week on our mooring update. Take care, stay afloat, love yourself, goodbye. Susan's this one? Sophia's, our lovely friend. Sophia Short illustration. Yeah, brilliant. This is Cedric. Cedric the cyclist. Luna. Oh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs>